God can never get tired of restoring anything. In fact, he is the restorer of all things. When God wants to restore something, he does not just make it new and bring it back to its original form. He makes it better, stronger, mightier, greater, and whole than it was before. Just imagine the life of Job. In the book of Job, chapter 42, the Bible recorded that God blessed Job by restoring everything that he had lost in double folds and gave him the most beautiful daughters in the whole land. God restores only his children. So if you want to enjoy the restoration of God, you have to build a personal relationship with him. In the Garden of Eden, man lost his relationship with God. But then God, because of his infinite mercies, still sacrificed his only begotten son so that he could restore all that we had lost in him. God has already paved a way for all who have received Jesus Christ to have a restored relationship with God. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell, and, having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him, I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. Colossians chapter 1 verses 19 and 20. So, the first step to having a total restoration is becoming a child of God. It is common knowledge that everything except for time can be gained back. But then God clearly promised us this impossible feat. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the cankerworm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Joel chapter 2 verse 25. Money loss can be gained back. Properties loss can also be restored. But how possible is it to gain back time? Time is the only commodity that can never be recovered. Once it passes, it is gone for good. Although time passes and we never get it back. The immediate meaning of God's promises is crystal clear. He promised to restore even what the world thinks is impossible back to you if you allow him to. Talking about the years that have been eaten by locusts. Yours may not necessarily mean that locusts physically ate your harvest. It could be talking about those years you have invested in a business venture and it did not work out well for you. It could also mean a failed investment, a misguided policy, those painful, selfish, loveless, rebellious, misdirected and most especially Christless years you have been living. Just maybe. The path you have chosen in your career just led you to a dead end. You felt as if you woke up from a deep slumber and you found yourself asking, how did I end up here? Sincerely speaking, even if you realized that you would have become a better person if you had chosen another path, that moment is gone and you can never go back to it. But here is the good news. There is a God who can restore your lost or, should I say, the years that have been eaten by locusts to you. So you need to take heart and smile deeply because you have hope in God. Today, I bring to you the biggest offer no man can ever give to you. Will you allow God to restore all your wasted years? It is your life and you are at utmost liberty to decide what should happen to you. When you take a quick glance at your past life, when you think about where you came from and where you are right now, you will realize that God has always been in the business of restoring you. When God restores all that you have lost, it may seem like a big dream to you, just like it happened in the book of Psalms, chapter 126, verse 1. And the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. We were like them that dream. This happens because when God wants to restore you, he does not just fix what you have lost, but he also gives you more things that will amaze you. Recognizing the signs that God is restoring you can become your only guiding compass in this life. So let us briefly consider these 10 signs that will help us to know that God is about to restore all that we have lost. The first sign that God is about to restore everything that you have lost is that you will begin to experience healing, both physically and emotionally. Emotional trauma has the ability to impair the strength and vitality of a person. It can even become more debilitating than physical injuries. When God is about to restore all that you have lost, the first thing he does is that he will begin to grant you healing in every aspect of your life. 
It is God at work in your life that makes you begin to let go of every hurt and heartbreak. God at work in you grants you the ability to forgive those who have offended you badly and makes you begin to enjoy complete emotional and physical wellness. For even those who have been battling with various forms of long-term or short-term illnesses or any other form of health challenges, your healing can be an indication that God is about to restore everything that you have lost. It is a divine intervention whether you begin to receive your healing gradually or whether you suddenly get healed. God wants you to enjoy perfect health. And when you suddenly begin to experience God's perfect health, just know that your restoration has begun. The second sign you will experience when God is about to restore everything that you have lost is that you will begin to experience financial and even unexpected blessings. God is restoring you when you begin to experience upliftment in your finances. You need to begin to learn how to attribute all of your financial blessings to God. God does not just stop at giving you financial blessings, but He also goes as far as blessing you in unexpected areas of your life. Even people that you have no relationship with begin to bless you for no just cause. Or perhaps, yours may be academic blessings or even blessings in regards to your career. Just know that when you begin to experience blessings or you suddenly discover that you are experiencing good fortunes, just take it as a sign that God is about to restore all that you have lost. This for thee also. By the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit, wherein is no water. Turn ye to the stronghold. Ye prisoners of hope, even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. Zechariah chapter 9 verses 11 and 12. God gives you multiple folds of blessings to make you realize the depth of all that you have been losing. The third sign that God is about to restore all that you have lost is that you will begin to show kindness and compassion to people. When God begins to restore you, you will feel a great sense of desire to help people around you. You will suddenly develop a profound desire to serve others. You may not necessarily be obligated to show love to people around you, but then you will suddenly feel compelled to show acts of kindness to people around you. Whether you have enough or not, you just can't quit giving to others. Your heart suddenly becomes a channel for divine love and you express yourself by giving tangible gifts to others and also begin to express yourself in tangible ways to the community at large. The fourth sign that God is about to restore all that you have lost is that you will have great strength and your sense of purpose will be heightened. When God is about to restore your life, he gives you the strength you need to stand against the tempest of life. He gives you strength to be able to face all of life's challenges. Your restoration is on the way when you begin to experience resilience to overcome every one of your obstacles and setbacks. You may have, due to one cause or the other, forgotten about your purpose of life. Discovering, or perhaps even rediscovering your purpose on earth is a sign that God is about to restore you. The fifth sign that God is about to restore all the years you have lost is that you will begin to walk in alignment with the will of God for your life. It is not restoration when your will is not aligned with God's ordained purpose for your life. When God begins to restore you, you will begin to notice that your preference for some particular things, especially those that are not pleasant to God, will change greatly. Your alignment with the will of God for your life will grant you a great sense of joy and fulfillment. And you will also experience happiness because you know that your life is all that God has ordained it to be. The sixth sign that God is about to restore all that you have lost is that you will begin to feel as if the Holy Spirit has invested upon you legal powers to work miraculous deeds you will suddenly begin to feel empowered by God's Holy Spirit. The most amazing aspect of the restoration of God is that God does not just mend your broken pieces together or just give you all that you have lost, probably in double folds. The perks of God's restoration are that you will be empowered by the Holy Spirit. Scripture made us understand that His Spirit will give us power 
and that power is what we will begin to enjoy the instant God begins to restore us. The Spirit of God in you grants you the ability to do everything, even what you have never dreamt of, even what you know you cannot do. But then, with God all things are possible, so your knowledge that God can do all things enables you to engage even in the humanly impossible things because you are confident in God. You know that His strength cannot fail you. You will definitely be scared of nothing at all because you know that you have the backing of God the Father, God the Son, and also God the Holy Spirit. You suddenly begin to feel as if you can face the world all alone because you are certain that God is with you. The seventh sign that God is about to restore all that you have lost is that you will begin to enjoy complete peace, even in the midst of chaotic challenges, and also you will be resilient against all of your oppositions. God will not take away your problems because He wants to restore you. What He does is that He will grant you sufficient strength to be able to face the challenges. You will suddenly discover a great inner strength you never knew that you had, and this will make all of your obstacles become stepping stones for you. There is this great inner peace that can only be given to you by God Himself, which has the ability to transcend every external situation. It is this same peace that has the ability to strengthen you and also encourage you that everything can be totally all right because God is working things for your good. The eighth sign you are likely to receive is that you will become more hungry and desperate for the things of God. You will suddenly begin to experience heightened awareness of the power of God at work in your life. Just a simple short prayer would be more than enough to make you feel divinely connected with God. Now this realization that you are never alone and that the presence of God is with you will infuse great joy in your life. The irresistible longing for more of God is a clear indication that God is restoring you. Your spiritual knowledge will always want to be enlightened and you will feel deep hunger and thirst for righteousness. You will just realize that you can never have enough of God and this is true because the more you know God, the more you will want to know God. And I dare to tell you that your knowledge of God can never be filled. The ninth sign that God is about to restore all that you have lost is that you will begin to comprehend things more clearly. You may suddenly feel like a huge fog has been lifted off your life and you can now understand what has been happening in your life you will begin to be able to identify the hand of God at work in your life. You will have a clearer understanding of the scriptures and even your general lifestyle will be greatly affected. This will be so high that you will begin to see failures as stepping stones to your success. Because of your clarity of thoughts, you will begin to see your setbacks as opportunities instead of allowing them to define your capability. And finally, the last sign that God is about to restore you is that you will have a deep sense of tranquility and satisfaction. Your spiritual connection will be deepened and even your relationship with others that has been damaged will be restored. God is also concerned about our relationship with other people. So when He wants to restore you to your totality, He will help you to redefine your relationship with others. God will help you to begin to interact with all those important people that you need to have a successful life, whom you may have been separated from. So when you feel the nudge to renew your relationship with someone, please do not ignore the feeling. Maybe God is about to restore your lost years. During the period prior to the moment God is about to restore you, you may begin to feel drawn to spiritual activities. You do not know why, but you suddenly begin to feel like praying. In fact, you even enjoy dwelling in the presence of God. You gain insights from studying scriptures. You love God more, and you also feel drawn to the Christian community. This is a powerful sign that God is restoring you, especially when you begin to experience a deep sense of spiritual renewal and determination. During your process of restoration, it is very common for you to begin to enjoy inner tranquility and satisfaction. This is a clear sign that God is working in you to perfect all imperfections in your life and to also restore your total sense of well-being. 
Finally, we have to understand that we all have a unique and distinct journey in front of us. Despite this indication that God is about to restore everything that you have lost, it is quite essential for you to have faith in God and believe that He is more than able to restore all that you may have lost. Even when you feel pain in your heart, I want you to still console yourself with the precious knowledge that God is working to restore everything back to you. When you ponder deeply about your life, you will discover that God has always been in all of your successful endeavors. God has always been restoring you even in ways that you may not have realized. I hope these signs will help you to become more confident in the process of God's restoration. I pray that it will make you become more patient and trust in God, even when you cannot physically see His works in your life. Always be thankful to God for His awesome works in your life. Let us pray. Dearest Father and Friend, Eternal Rock of Ages, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the Lily of the Valley, Bright and Morning Star, Rose of Sharon, Ever-Loving Healer, Wonderful, Merciful Savior, Mighty Redeemer, we thank you for your goodness, mercy, love, favor, kindness, faithfulness, and our unfaithfulness and grace, even when we are ungrateful. We thank you because you have been with us always, right from when we were born to this very moment. You always come through for us. We know that it's not by our own strength, power, or might, but it's all been you. So we have come to return all the glory, honor and adoration unto your blessed name. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your gift of salvation. Thank you for your ever abounding grace and mercy. Thank you for your ever present help in times of need. We say may your all powerful name be highly exalted in Jesus' wonderful name. Thank you for a beautiful day like this. Thank you for the gift of life and thank you for the true love you keep showing me, and thank you for not giving up your love on me. Please, dear God, help us to forgive those that trespass against us today. Teach us to stand strong in you, and most importantly, dear God, help our will to be aligned with your will, and may you help us never to deviate from following your paths. You guide us through our trials, and please do not let us fall into any form of temptation. Please forgive us for ever doubting your words, precious lover. We know that we have wronged you one way or the other because your word says that for all have sinned and fallen short of your glory. So we come this moment to ask for your mercy. We are extremely sorry for all the sins we have committed against you. We know that sometimes we don't deserve your mercy, but because of your love for us, we ask that you forgive us all the same not because we are worthy of it or because we deserve it, but because of your love, dearest Father. Please forgive us of all our unrighteousness, sins, and iniquities. Father, we ask that you prune us to be fit for your work. We ask that you give us the grace to serve effectively and efficiently in your work. In any area we find ourselves, please help us to shine our lights wherever we go, so bright that it will attract others to you. Sweet Father, please help us not to lose our taste. Please help our speech to be seasoned with salt, that it may bring grace to the hearer. And Heavenly Father, please help us to redeem our time always. Help us not to waste our time on trivial things. Dear God, you know our deepest worries and fears and also all the areas that we desperately long for your total healing and liberation. Today, dear God, we fully surrender all these to you and we ask that you will help us to joyfully have faith in you and we wait on you to help us. We pray that you will help us to trust in your perfect timing for our lives. Help us to believe in your ways and help us never to depart from your presence. Please, dear Father, restore us to the original position you want us to be so that you can shower your blessings upon us. Please restore to us all that we have lost, and just like you restored Job and blessed him with even more blessings, please restore us and bless us more so. Thank you, dear Savior and Redeemer. Because we are confident that you will do more than we have requested from you in Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. Please leave us a comment, also like this video and share it so that it can get to more people. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel so that we can grow together.